everybody, it's Doop, the most electrifying man on YouTube entertainment. And today I am hanging out with the dude. But pump the brakes, broski. He is running around like crazy. He's not going to be here very long. Mom is coming to pick him up. We might see the Ninja Twins. My babe Maria is on the way. We could see Jay the Key Evans and you're saying to yourself, Doop, why are all these people coming in your house? Why is the dude getting picked up by his mom? Because in just a few minutes, AEW Double or Nothing is about to kick off live from Las Vegas, 8 p.m. on pay-per-view. I ordered mine. Did you order yours? Well, guess what? It's probably too late if you're watching this and asking yourself that. Because I am pretty hyped for the action tonight. Now, there's a few things that might trigger me, that might make me freak out. The first and foremost, in no order, okay? MJF better show up. If he doesn't, I'm a freak out. Okay? <laughs> Secondly, uh, it's a freak out party, all right? Secondly, I'm going to freak out if CM Punk wins, all right? We need Hangman Adam Page to retain, all right, cowboy? All right? And third, all right, well, you can freak out big and deep if La Meta Meta loses, all right? I'm going to freak out if Serena Deeb wins, all right? La Meta Meta better retain the title tonight. Lots of action going on, AEW. The dude is freaking out. Let's get hype. Let's dive deep into this pay-per-view. As I'm pressing go on the Dan Housen call, it's a Ninja Twins! Welcome. I love that top. Look at you. Welcome, guys. You missed the first match. I was just hey, talking about how... I was. I said 7.30 for the pre-buy-in. You didn't uh, tell us there was a match. Uh, well, I didn't you know. know what, though? We probably don't know the guys that were wrestling. Uh, yeah, did you know Dan Housen? He just... Him and Hook just beat um, Smart Mark Sterling and Tony Nese. That's the guy that... Uh, Tina always does. Yeah, Tina Housen. Just, I saw her. She's third row. She's all Tina housen out. They showed her. We got, yeah, a, we, got the, we got a text from Grim. Yeah, well, I did too. Yeah. Either way, Dan Housen gets the win at the double or nothing kid buy-in starting off. Thanks for the ice cream. I'm pretty excited about that. Guess what? What? Maria's here. She showed up and we are ready for double or nothing. Babe, is MJF really going to show up? MJF is there. He's ready to go. Are you but sure? Something might happen. We don't know. What, what, what kind of guarantee is that? He's there. Something might happen. She's trolling us. Up. Where are the rest of your yeah. friends? We don't, I don't have any. What? Yep, that's it. You guys are <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know what just happened right there. I'm a little confused. And frankly, it was, um, well, lackluster and not even fun to watch. Because Wardlow just walked out there, dominated MJF, powerbombed him ten goddamn times, and pinned him. Very anticlimactic. Babe, it's not time to fix your hair. It's here time to talk about what the fuck just happened oh, with we're MJF. Actually recording? Yo, did you see the light and the numbers going? Good God Almighty. Oh my God, I thought you were practicing. I'll talk to the guys. Guys, what the fuck just happened? Wait, wait, wait. Are we recording? Do you want to fix your hair? Does my hair look good? Jesus fucking Christ. All right, here we go. <laughs> elite versus delete. Here we go. Fuck MJF. Hey. What's up, babe? What? You heard me. I said, fuck MJF. He's going to WWE now. It's over. Don't me these assumptions. There he is. You're going to be buying an MJF t-shirt on the WWE shop soon. I will. <laughs> Did you guys see it? Jeff Hardy wins and he's out. Just like the WWE the, the match and he's, he's out of here. He's back. Oh, wait, he came back? Where's he going? Oh, he is back. Look at that. Either way, clean pin here for the Hardys. They're not the Hardy boys. They're the Hardys, the Hardy brothers. Yeah, anything. the Hardy men. The, Listen, don't They're label them, all right? It's 2022. Yeah. Maybe they don't want to be men. Maybe they just want to be boys, all right? That's what they call them. Maybe they want to be just brothers. The fact of the matter is, babe, the elite lose. That's right. The delete, del delete, the elite. Did I say that right? I'd probably a tongue twister. Either way. Oh, look, it's the acclaimed. Give it to me. The acclaimed. Give it to me. What are we doing here? I, I, thank you. Scissor. Thank you. The acclaimed. Why are we That's the acclaimed. Babe knows how to do it. See? The acclaimed. Yeah. All right. Here we go. AEW double or nothing rolls on. So these guys like scissoring each other? 
It's the whole acclaimed gimmick. Dude, where have you been? I just got a text message from the slug that says, could this be any more overbooked? The man is not wrong. Jade Cargill just defended and beat Anna Jay in this far overbooked women's match. <laughs> from the Athena, the goddess, Ember the Moon, fallen goddess. the fallen goddess. Ember Moon comes out. Who's the other guy? Malcolm X? Malcolm, Malcolm Bivens. Bivens. Oh, Malcolm Bivens. Malcolm in the middle debuted. All right. Um, so much interference from the outside. The match was a little sloppy. Either way, Jade gets the win and double or nothing rolls on as the House of Black is marching to the ring. And this man has another new reindeer outfit. Yeah, who's, the, who's the guy with the antlers? All of them have antlers, right? Malcolm, um, well, Malcolm in the middle. I'm, st I'm stuck on that. What's his name? Malachi Black, Buddy Murphy, and uh, Mr. Brody King, I think. Give me a W! w. Give me a T! T. Give me an F! F! Why are you guys acting like cheerleaders? Julia Hart is no longer a cheerleader. Stop cheering for... What the hell just happened? House of Black scores this win because Julia Hart... <laughs> The Black Mist. You, you missed a little bit. I saw some spit. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right into the eyes of Pac. Sending him down. Giving the House of Black the win here, babe. How do you feel about that? She's turned. She's no longer a varsity blonde. She's spitting the Black Mist with the House of Black. Good for her. <laughs> she went over to the dark side. Maybe varsity Black? Varsity, I don't know. Varsity blonde, varsity black. We'll have to, you know what? Write her an email, ask her. You got her, you got her address. <laughs> you <Blonde>. creeps. <laughs> the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament for the Men's comes to a conclusion with your winner, Adam Cole, baby. Right? Boom. Now, very, very important information here that Maria has just delivered Hot off the press. The boys, me, and we couldn't figure out why Adam Cole got this win. Maria came up with the answer. She gave it to us hot and fresh now. Maria, why did Adam Cole win? He's wearing the pink. There it is. He is wearing the correct colors. The correct colors so coming obvious. from Adam Cole. So obvious, so obvious. right? It's it's because we're guys. We didn't figure out that the outfit matters, babe. Joe wore pink and, hot pink and black could you and he could have pulled it off too. Samoa Joe is a guy. He could have done his nails and everything. No, this is badass and hot pink and black. What's gonna happen in the women's match? Is Britt Baker gonna score this victory? What color is her yeah. attire? Yeah, depends what color she wears. We're gonna have to find out. She's gonna win. Somebody get on Amazon. I need a hat like that. Martha said I need to wear one for next year, and I will not disappoint this that woman. Looks good. The belts are, are very, very nice. She hands Adam Cole the belt now, and uh, Britt Baker wins uh, against Ruby Soho. The pink. It, it was the pink. You called it, babe. So the pink wins for the night, and oh, that is a... They get to keep the belt, but the trophy gets passed to next year. Martha Stewart just gave a speech, and here are your winners. Adam Cole, Britt Baker, winners of the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Ugh. Scorpio Sky and, and Ethan Page and that whole trios team just won, okay? But I wasn't really paying attention because I was getting the fryer ready. We were having some snacks. Babe, what happened? It doesn't matter. That's what you should say it happened. Sammy Guevara punched Ty Conte no, in the face, apparently. It was fabulous. He kicked her right in the mouth and I missed it. Babe, you're lucky I love you. I'm making you snacks, and I miss Ty Conti getting knocked in the mouth. Somebody had to shut her up. Oh, shots fired. Very anticlimactic win for Kyle O'Reilly over Darby. I hope he's okay after he took that spill straight on his face. All right? More importantly, Serena Deeb is making her way to the ring, but... Here we go! It's time for La Mela Mela! Here! Oh, look at it. There she is! Yeah! Ooh, with the flame! Here she comes to defend that women's championship. I expect nothing less than here's your winner and still women's champion at the end of this match. La Mela Mela Thunder Rosa! You hype? 
Yeah, there you go. Fired, All right. though. I want me to, but Jake, here we go. <laughs> Here's your winner and still AEW Women's Champion, La Mera Mera Thunder Rosa. We expected nothing less. Right. And now, um, two of the three things that I needed for tonight happened. MJF at least showed up. Thunder Rosa retained. And now all I need is Hangman Adam Page to retain. Nobody needs or wants CM Punk as champ. But we've got us an Arcadium Stadium battle in the arena. A what? I don't know. I said it completely wrong. <laughs> There's a wizard on the way to the ring right now, babe. All right, snuggling tight, babe, because um, we still got two matches left. That's right. Jericho Society just pulls off a win by strangling uh, Brian Danielson. He was out. Weird odd finish. Not sure exactly why Jericho Society. <laughs> the wizard. That wasn't my favorite. Still I mean, the still. match was good, but it wasn't my favorite. The match was insane. There was the, everything was happening everywhere. People were getting hurt. There were barbed wire tables, ladders. The stadium, Arcadium, uh, was a pleasure of events all over the place. But I'm tired, and there's more. I think we should just go to bed and wake up in the morning and finish watching. I have to go to work. Tell me what happens. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Well, I'm afraid I got some bad news. That's right. As you can see, I am in my work truck. It is the next day and I am at work. When I was talking about falling asleep, I wasn't kidding. I passed out, as did Maria. We did not see Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus defend their tag team championships and win. I only know that because I checked the internet. All right. We also did not see and frankly i am happy i did not see i am more than overjoyed that i fell asleep and did not have to watch cm punk beat hangman adam page for the aew heavyweight championship if i was in las vegas if i traveled all the way there for AEW double or nothing and I had to watch that old piece of shit win a title that he is not deserving of I would have freaked the fuck out hell I'm freaking out right now in the cab of my truck because that was bullshit I do not think that he deserves that title I do not think that he will even be fucking remotely exciting as champion but I have yet to be proven wrong because he just won it I just I know I'm not hype, and I frankly, I'm not even excited to tune in to hear him talk about how excited he is to be champion. Screw you, CM Punk. You suck. Those are my thoughts, FYI. I feel that way. Do, do not pin any of those thoughts on my babe Maria. Those are my sentiments. With that being said, my watch says I'm out of time. I got to get back to work. Like the video. Leave some of those comments. What did you guys think of AEW Double or Nothing? Did I really miss the main event? If you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more fucking me. Yeah.